Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. My name is Troy, and welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to perform a light cardio. Nothing too hard, a lot of stuff, very simple. But I am going to start off with a stretch to warm the body up because it is always best to have muscles warmed up before performing cardio. I like to start off with some running in place. It is one of my favorite ways to start off a workout. You can continue warming up without doing too much. And it is a safe space for those who don't want to do some of the moves because they're not ready for it, but want to continue burning calories.
how much time you take to warm up while running in place depends on you depends on how much warming up you have done with stretching and how much workout you plan on doing now let's do some back arms because everybody should be doing back arms they're very good for you i sometimes like to do my back arms in a mini squat they're good for working on the thighs the calves and i feel they are better for my form when i do back arms there is no magic number on how many of an exercise you should do. Do what feels comfortable for you, but always try to do a little bit more. Now these I prefer to do with dumbbells or resistance bands, but today's workout is all about body weight and no equipment needed. Just make sure you try to put yourself in a good position so that way you can fully extend and feel your back as you're doing each. This next move is good for both men and women, especially women who want to fight gravity. You want to get your elbows as close as possible, but sometimes they won't always touch all according to the size of your chest and the size of your arms. If your elbows do not touch, don't feel bad. Just try to get them as close as possible together and try to feel the squeeze as you get your arms as close as possible together. Now back to running in place. This is what I call a good continuation of burning calories and allowing the body part that you just previously did to get a rest. Now I'm not gonna lie, I hate doing sit-ups with a passion but this is one of my favorite to do, so I don't have to do sit-ups at all. If you feel these are too easy for you, either go for a higher number or do them on your back. I promise you'll feel them. Back to the safe space of still burning calories and giving your previous body part a rest. Running in place. Or you can try jumping rope with an invisible rope of course. Still you get to burn calories. I believe everybody should be doing calf raises every day. It's a good way to fill the burn and work on your legs.
Now, the amount of carrot phrases you do, all depending on you. Some people don't mind that burn. Others, whew, they can't wait to stop and go back to running in place. I like to add chest exercises in every so often because they're very good for you. Your chest will thank me later. From one arm exercise to another and yes don't forget to mini squat and try to fully extend because you want to fill your back arms with each move. And now we're back to running in place. Or if you want, you can do some skipping because it is all about burning those extra calories. And when you're ready, you can do some arm movements because the more calories you burn, the better it is for you in the future. You'll thank me later. It is always good to practice these without weights because you want to feel the movements, understand which body parts are being used, so that way when you are using weights or resistant bands, you have a better understanding of what is being exercised. Now, always remember, try to hit that mini squat because you want to be able to work out multiple muscles at one time. Now with running in place, you can exchange it for twisting. You're still burning calories, you're putting a little workout on your abs, 
and it is a, another way to get in some good movements. Now don't forget lunges, nobody likes to do them, but they're very good for you, I promise, just take your time, there's no rush, understand the movements, and you'll get them done. After doing lunges, I like to do some of my favorite running in place or whichever variation you like. There's skipping, running in place, combinations if you're up for it, jump rope, many variations. Find what works for you. After your body's been fully warmed up, you can take one of these variations and really put combinations to it and find different ways to work out multiple body parts at one time because more is good. You want to burn calories because putting on calories is always easy. Burning them, that's very hard. And when you can find ways to especially target certain body parts, go for it. Don't be scared, put in that work. Don't be afraid to go a little crazy and mix it up. Do what you feel is comfortable. And if you're listening to music, sometimes make that music move your body. Running in place is very underrated with workouts. It is a good filler. You get to continue burning calories and you get to rest different body parts while still burning calories. Win-win if you ask me. Never be afraid to switch it up. Switching it up is always good. One, you get to do something different. Two, you get to trick your body because being complacent with one move is never good. Once you get yourself in the rhythm with working out, combinations become more easier. So get yourself into a mini squat if possible. 
and rock out with some combinations and burn some calories. Back to running in a place. Come on, let's burn some calories. If you're trying to work out on your legs, doing squats are very, very necessary. But doing squats in different variations is also very necessary. So try these out and see how they feel and see if you like them. As you can see, I love running in place. I do it very often, and I like to throw in combinations while I do them. Come on and join me. Let's burn some calories. Squats are very important, so once you get yourself used to doing squats, do them with some combinations. So not only do you get to work on your legs, but doing these, you get to work on your abs as well.
do what you can to get an all around workout. Always try to remember, work on your core. Because that's what holds everything together. Always remember, if you're not feeling the burn, you may not have done enough. Try to step up your game. I love doing these background workouts. Break them into sets in your workout and do as many as you can. When doing these, try to flex and make sure you fill your back with each movement. I love doing these calf raises. Always remember, the number that feels comfortable for you, do them, but always try to do a little bit more.
my last combination workout for the day. Might as well rock out, get it in, and enjoy the burn. Feel the burn. I tried to end every workout the same way I started with some running in place. That way I get to calm down my heart rate and still burn some calories. Now always remember, stretching is very necessary for before and after, so that way you don't cramp up, the muscles don't get tight, you thank me later. Try to stretch both your upper half and lower half if you've done an all around workout. Trust me, you'll thank me later.
If you made it this far, good job. Pat yourself on the back. It is always good to start something, but it's even better when you get to finish.